I'd like to tell you three ways that you can find a soulmate. Number one is to answer the question, do we really want a soulmate or a bodymate? It's possible we've answered that question without even knowing the question exists. Because subconsciously we're so connected to our bodies, our needs, our desires, physically, our insecurities, that we're drawing unconsciously, we're attracting unconsciously a body mate, a temporary, superficial or fleeting version of love. Number two is, if we want a soul mate, we have to marry first of all our soul. If we want to truly draw and attract a soulful relationship with a soul mate, we have to be connected, we have to be the soul that's going to draw that. It means, what is our soul? What does it mean to you, your soul? What are your talents? What are unique qualities? What are the divine traits that you hold within? How are you expressing them? How are you sharing that piece of your perfection with the world? How are you stamping a piece of you, your mark in society? What is the expression of your soul that could attract a soulmate? And number three, are we really investing in our soul? To invest in your soul means that you start to discern the cause and effect of your life means the responsibility to own every single thing that happens to us. To actually internalize, why is this in my movie? To expand that consciousness of life means to discern and to see the causes and effects of my life at play in front of me. And as I see and lift my consciousness, expand my vessel towards that higher vision, that's connection to my soul. That's what's going to attract a soulmate and eventually a soulful relationship to me. That's the work. Stop wishing. Stop working. That's, that's the game.